Good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back. I'm so excited. Um, so I started binge watching some of my videos from last year. I guess almost like two years ago at this point. Um, if I was looking at when I started trying to conceive with Raina and then the pregnancy throughout, it's just mind blowing. I just wanted to let you all know that we're back at it. Um, so very exciting, but we are trying to conceive again. I am uh, 14 months postpartum as of like tomorrow. And Raina is still nursing um, quite frequently actually. So I have only spotted three days out of um, the last 14 months, which was last month. Um, and right before that, I did get a positive ovulation test. And then this past month, I got a positive ovulation test as well. I don't know if you remember, but I have an Ava bracelet and I started using that again just uh, two weeks ago, maybe, to track my cycle and track my ovulation to make sure that I'm actually, in fact, ovulating. Um, and yeah, so we check my basal body temperature every morning through the Ava bracelet. I chart it on the Ava app, Fertility Friend and the Ovia app. Um, I like to just use all three of those because I like the Fertility Friend, how you can really see what the chart is like. Um, Ovia, I really like the, the amount of information that you can put in and then kind of the information that they give you as uh, feedback, like, okay, that sounds great. Uh, you know, 14% of women also said that they're having headaches at this time in their luteal phase or whatever, and, you know, continue to do this and then we'll see if you're pregnant or um, when your period's going to come, things along those lines. So I really like how interactive that one is um, and the information that I get from it. And it's so funny because this will be my fourth pregnancy and I'm already over here binge watching two week wait symptoms and um, like birth vlogs and all of the above. And it's like, as if I don't know what to expect already. <laughs> um, but I was able to watch my personal two week wait video uh, this morning. And from what I saw, I didn't actually tell you guys any of the symptoms until I was like eight, days past ovulation, so eight DPO. And so this time I'm taking way more notes and I'm starting at like even before ovulation, what that felt like, and then one DPO, two TPO, three DPO, yada, yada, yada. Um, until I either get my cycle or I get a positive pregnancy test. That's the hopes. Um, this is our second cycle trying and um, again, if it doesn't happen, I mean, I don't even really have an actual period yet, so it's not going to be the end of the world. With Ava, I was um, 10 months postpartum with her when I got pregnant with Mila, and I didn't have my cycle back at all. So I know that my body can get pregnant while um, nursing. Because I nursed her until she was 14 months old. And it's so funny because Raina is turning 14 months old on July 13th, which will be like, I think tomorrow, I think today's the 12th or something. And both with Ava and Myla, I stopped nursing them at 14 months. But Miss Raina is now waking up, so I'm gonna go get her from her nap. But I just wanted to keep you in the loop and let you know that we're gonna go on this journey together again. Um, please like if you haven't already and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to making more videos and just getting the excitement of this pregnancy um, journey going. Thanks, have a great day.